What is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, brings a video here today, bringing you guys a Photoshop tutorial to create your own cool, simplistic, we're gonna go with like simplistic showcase banner design here today. That's what we're gonna go with. So if you guys do not know my whole simplistic series, I thought I saw my doing was like three months ago, but if you guys do not know about it, it's basically me taking this really cool clean concept or taking like a really like simple thing and just making it look aesthetically pleasing. So this time I try to, I try to like really show uh, in this like concept showcasing your work basically so I have two rectangles on the right hand side of it I'm building like this left hand side making it look really clean But I didn't want to do very very much I was struggling with like you guys can see in the speed art This actually look it was like an hour and a half in the actual document But I came up with like the cleanest concept ever like there's no way this took me an hour and a half But it, it does take me an hour and a half sometimes to do a little video like yeah It's just you know the concepts hard sometimes, but uh, hopefully I think I nailed it I think I did a very clean concept that also showcases your work and in the actual presentation or the preview as you can say is it's more just two works that I'm showing off but in the tutorial I show you guys how to use like fracture breaking and then putting actually more photos inside those two rectangles but of course in the end I did just use two uh, actual post images or excuse me post works that I've done in the previous work you guys know what I mean so hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh don't forget to like on the video it was a secret down below and uh, I also want to kind of do like a little question answer in like the beginning like right now when I'm talking I'm just like imagine like a quick little one question I answer it and just like then you go into the video I think it's pretty cool like uh, I'm trying to like I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to spice things up so if you guys want to like help me out with that maybe you guys leave like a really cool awesome question inside the actual comment section below I'll take one put on the picture or put on the screen make it look really cool you know I'm a designer dude I'll make it look fancy so hope you guys do enjoy this <laughs> hope you guys do enjoy today's video I don't know what happened just then and uh, yeah I told you guys in a little bit also because no one told me last time dude does my mic not sound like 10 times better because if you didn't know I spent $200 on an audio technica AT 2020 I think it sounds pretty cool so uh, hope you guys do it I think it, it makes me sound less no, it doesn't. It doesn't make me sound less white. Oh, well, whatever. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Talk to you guys in a second. We're just going to go. We're going to go. That was bad. Oh, God. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. So I'm going to start off with the right-hand side because there's basically nothing else going on this whole side over here. So let's just show you guys this whole little simplistic sort of, uh, how would you call it, like a showcase, right? So let's go ahead and we're going to hide this and we're going to basically start off with the rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool, all if you do have to do is just basically click once in the middle. It doesn't really matter where you click. Just click and then hold alt and shift and it'll automatically make a perfect circle for you basically holding alt will make that perfect uh i guess point like wherever you click that it'll stay in that exam like that same exact point and then holding shift will automatically make it into a perfect square for you and you're really good to go did i say circle i'm not entirely sure god dang it i did it again so basically once you've made your perfect square we're gonna go ahead and press Control t to make a free transform so it's basically gonna happen here we're gonna rotate this on a 15 degree intervals and the way to do that is just holding shift on your keyboard selecting your right hand side here rotate it and you're gonna see it's going to be rotating by 15 30 and then 45 you want to stop at the 45 degree angle because that's going to give you that nice cool little diamond shape so once you have this i'm going to shrink this a little bit though and i'll say that's a pretty good i think that's a pretty good size so i'm going to cheat really quickly and just see where i have to place this at let's put this above this for a second oops i didn't mean to put it inside there let's just put this above that there we go and i'm going to say that's a pretty good size so I just basically found out where the middle was. This, so I actually, of course, if you guys don't know how to use your rulers, press Control R on your keyboard. You see these little rulers up here. All you would have to do, I'm just gonna make this one again. All you have to do is take your ruler, select it, move it to where you feel like the middle is, and you'll feel a little snap. If you just sort of like move around a little bit, you'll see a little snap happening. That's where the middle is, and that's where you kind of want to make sure you have where your point is as well, right? Just a very simple little thing, right? So once you have this, we're gonna call this our first rectangle. We're just gonna call this number one. We're gonna duplicate this by pressing Control J on our keyboard. And we're just going to drag this below. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to call this number two, though. And we're going to make this one a little bit bigger, maybe twice the size. So I want to say Control, uh, Control T, make it maybe twice the size. I think that's pretty good size. And I'm going to cheat again really quickly and just make sure I place it in the same exact spot from, from before. And, oh, look, it's perfect. It's like I almost did this before. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is pretty good. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, sweet. So what's going to happen here is I'm just going to make this a different color for now. Uh, we'll just make it like this color. Just make that one that color. It does not really matter whatsoever But I'm gonna really quickly just just put it in really quick. Uh, let's move this like right there Because why not? I don't want to show that little white so I'm gonna take this uh, owl mascot So whatever work you choose to put inside your actual I guess your little shapes here now You can use obviously different shapes you can use I guess you would say you can split the shapes up into like fractures if you guys know what I mean by that is like currently I'm only using two uh, shapes basically right where I can only basically put in two separate like works however if you wanted to choose to make I guess fractures like I said is what I mean by that is like sort of penciling out maybe this here 
and then like co like copying it, not cutting it out, leaving this st this st still back. All right, let me show you what I mean because it's kind of hard to explain. So let's just say we have this here, right? And let's just say we have this rasterize for now. And let's say we wanted to make a copy of this. Like let's make this little shape here that I'm penciling out a different shape to put into work. So what I would what I would what I would do is I would right click it, fill this in. Uh, I want to right click and fill it in. I would just right click it, make a selection, right? Once you make the selection on that layer, press M on your keyboard and then layer via copy. And what's going to happen here is now you can then take your, I'm just going to take the owl mask off for a second, bring it above here as well, put it above that layer, clip mask it, and then you can see like a little fracture. So if you just made a little more fractures, like maybe one here or one here, you can then foot, I guess, fit in more works. However, if you don't want to do that, then you just don't want to do it. Then it's just not, it's just not what we're going to be doing today though. But I'm just going to show you guys what I meant by that. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my owl mascot, clip mask it to the number two rectangle here. And we're going to move this to a nice little spot that kind of shows it off in the coolest way possible. And I think this thing just kind of works right there. So we're just going to keep it right there. And then for the first triangle or square here, so, oh, square, okay, we're going to put it above the first one and then also click mask this one as well. And then just drag this over here. And let's just say that this move a little bit more, maybe a little further down. I'll say that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Sweet. So for me, the whole little seamless transition between each of the two works, it's okay, but I feel like I needed some sort of break in between them. And that's what kind of happened when I did this little, uh, this little, uh, white thing here. So that's what we're going to do the same exact thing from before. So what I ended up doing was making a new layer and I basically just sort of selected like, like around here, around this like vicinity right here, just selected really quickly. Now, if you imagine just, uh, I'm just going to fill it in really quick. If you just imagine sort of like this little shape here, right? This is just basically the half of this little diamond that we got going on. If you just imagine just taking this one point here and then you can just take your arrow keys and just move it over to the right. A little bit more, I would say like about, I guess if you make it, if you want to make it like, I guess composition wise, I would stop right where you have this little eye here. But that's if I was just trying to like be super picky about it, but just basically push it in a little further on that left hand uh, art, uh, anchor and then just push it in a little bit. And then you can just fill this in with the color white. This offset white that I'm using, by the way, is hex code F2, F2, F2. So press OK, press OK again. And for the sake of not like cheating, like I was just going to basically pencil this around here. I'm just going to make half the shape, right? It's going to perfectly only half because we have their uh, little ruler here. I can just hold Alt, Shift, drag it down, Control T, flip it vertical. And we have a perfect now completed. Uh-oh, maybe like if I move it up one, there we go. All right, now we got a perfect little like white little uh how do you call it break i call it i was gonna call it white separated or white separate we're gonna call it white separate that's segregation okay we're just gonna go ahead and put this in between that and uh let's just keep going dude we're just, we're just gonna keep going all right so what i did was a little indention thing now if you guys remember the whole little indention tutorial that i had with the cool little shapes and stuff like that actually it was my last simplistic video i think it was like three four months ago but i still play with that today so i'm gonna do the same exact thing again so i'm gonna show you guys how i did that really quickly in case you guys forgot what i did was i made a new layer below everything because it really doesn't matter but i really i made it below everything what i ended up doing was following the angle of this little square here uh we're just gonna call it diamond because it's pretty much a diamond right now we're gonna follow this little, I guess, the angle, nice and close, I guess you would say, to this little diamond shape here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this line here going down as well. Now I'm pretty much eyeballing it. If you wanted to make a quick little rectangle, put it down here and then pencil it around like that, it really doesn't matter though, because the point of this is it really doesn't matter whatsoever, because you can do it either way. But what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna see these two first lines that I made. We're gonna make sure that is what we're gonna focus on. And then whatever, whatever else you're doing, just connect it and it's gonna be perfectly fine. So what's gonna happen here is once I right click, make it a selection press okay what's gonna have like you're gonna have a nice little selection that you just made i'm gonna use a let's just use this black and we're taking a nice little soft brush zero hardness and then with this black soft brush on this new layer with this marquee tooled or excuse me made mated selection little shape here we're just gonna take this angle and we're just gonna shade it in with a nice little black just like so and this will sort of create, it looks really good on a white background on like, honestly, because it sort of looks like a little indention and it just looks really good. And what you can do is you can take your soft brush eraser now and then just get in there and erase nice and close right there. And we'll erase like down here. I think that's pretty good. So what I ended up doing actually was before I erase that entire line here, I'm going to quickly make a duplicate of this because we're going to need that for the actual other one here. We're going to erase this like over here as well again. And we're going to take this one and rotate it on the 45 degree angle by holding shift. So it can be 90 degrees to make sure that's the same exact angle as this one. And we're just going to put it like maybe right there. 
and let's erase a bit over here and then we'll erase like that I think that's pretty freaking good okay not bad so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna take this little second one here because it's the straightest sort of angle we have right now with no other little, little arch right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and then just put this above this little white uh, separator bar and we're just gonna make sure we kind of get this nice cool uh, almost like a bezel almost like right here try to follow this like middle angle try to get it right in the middle once it's in the middle it, where you feel like it's in the middle you can take another duplicate of it control or you can press control J or just alt and drag it doesn't really matter and we're gonna make this other angle here now for this one I'm going to erase it a little bit so it's not the same exact width or length as this one just so look have a little separation right it looks pretty good like that okay now I think we're just gonna add in our quick little text in really quick we're gonna call this simplistic and we're gonna give it a nicer color scheme let's say like that's pretty good for now oops god dang it dude I did okay simplistic <laughs> we're gonna shrink a little bit and we're gonna shrink it to maybe like 24 I would say that's pretty small but I can make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger okay I'm gonna make a nice little quick subtext what did I call it last time showcase showcase banner design tutorial something like that and we're gonna go ahead and shrink that down to a nice size I'm gonna get a little bit bigger fill that out and I'll also give this little subtext a nice little I guess color differential I'm gonna make your let's make this showcase banner and then this is gonna be orange and then let's just make this other part green get some a little color in there now I don't really work with the text very much in the simplistic I guess series it's, it's something I just don't do uh, but we're, it's whatever it's whatever right and let's just quickly as well make this a little bit more like that and then it's a little bit more bigger all right I think we're cool about that I think we're cool about that all right sweet so what we're gonna do is now make the little simple little blue little bar was I just honestly just made a new layer take your marquee tool here just literally make a nice little rectangle on the outside there and just what I ended up doing was I, I try to play with my colors just a little bit and then through my uh, actual like speed art version of this tutorial in the beginning that you guys saw in the video I went through a lot of trying to make colors be the I guess the the image itself but it was really hard to sort of pick colors because if I'm picking colors honestly based on what the, the re recent uh, works that I've had then it was just really awkward having two different color schemes completely and having that be the flow in the entire banner design just didn't make too much sense so for me this orange and green looks pretty good together I'm just using this right here or these two colors right here but for me I got kind of lucky so if you were choosing a color scheme for your things like this little bar here I'm gonna be choosing this color here if you guys care to know on this new layer here right just choosing this color scheme because it makes sense it just looks good with these colors that I have here but if for you make sure you come up with some sort of color scheme that way it looks at least somewhat good right so I also did this little I don't know if you guys saw it in the actual preview but I did a little bit of a seamless I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger right control U if you guys do not know brings up the hue and saturation so on that layer if you press control U brings up this little table here take your lightness put this all the way up and it makes it white if you guys do not know that press E for your eraser and we're just gonna quickly erase just like that and I had a little sort of little white bar there as well if you guys saw it just a little a little action there okay now I think this is almost the last part here below or right above the actual background we're gonna take a soft brush is again and we're gonna take a clear white just a pure white which is all F's across the board for your hex code and since we're using an offset white which is an f2 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 we're gonna basically you're gonna be able to see that white over it right so I'm gonna click I'm just gonna click like actually I'm gonna put this above it I'm gonna put this above everything not below everything I'll click like right here so now we have our looks like our text a nice little gradient there kind of looks like our work right here is popping off a little bit there kind of like that little blue bar there as well we can click on the actual banner design itself if we wanted to now if we want to you can go back with the soft brush eraser and erase where you feel like parts don't need to be so so I guess too much in your face right um let's just say like that's pretty okay like this little light just didn't do too much I can add one over here I feel like I want to add one like right up here right very simple now for my background you saw these little swirlies are sort of like it was it was liquify just really it just that's all it was so what I ended up doing was I ended up combining everything together so control J control E to merge it all together so control J was basically duplicate duplicating everything and then control E would merge everything together so if you select your first layer hold shift select the last layer including your background if it doesn't really matter to you 
and then just press Control J to make a duplicate, and then like you saw before, Control E to then make that whole entire copy. Now, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna take my filter, and we're gonna put on liquify. And what I ended up doing was with a pretty hefty size brush, I'll say like 900, density 100, pressure, I'll put it on 55 for just like tutorial purposes. And I just kinda like swirled it around. Now, the reason why I did this, cause I didn't wanna use a stock um, like background for like, how do you say, you know, from Google or anything like that. I just wanna make my own quick little simple weird abstract background. So I just like swirled it around a little bit. We'll just say like this is okay for now press okay mine was a little more uniform by the way but whatever um we're just gonna say like rotate it on a different little angle there and like this is white here this is very simple to get rid of though i can just use my simple little white uh excuse me use my magic wand tool and get rid of the white there uh so press it my keyboard right gets rid of that white i can make duplicates and we'll rotate it again on that side that we just got rid of all that white at i see this white up here get rid of it and like that's pretty okay it's very weird and abstract but i just merge these two layers together put this below where this little uh right above basically the background image put it on luminosity and then lower your opacity down quite a bit i would say to about here it looks pretty good and then you just take your eraser and then literally just erase it around a little bit not too much kind of keep that little it kind of just has a little simple little subtle vibe in the background that just looks kind of good in my opinion just for the fact that it's just not plain white but if you paid attention to it it does look a nice simple little pattern in the background which looks really cool and if you really wanted to you can use like a uh like a mountain like a like i used before i previously used like a mountain picture but it just didn't really seem too great but if you wanted to do that as well you can do that as well so why the heck not and then for the little social media stuff here i literally just use the rectangle tool again quickly make a new layer rectangle tool so click hold all and shift Right, just like so and what you can do is take your take your fill lower it or excuse me turn it off it's like illustrator so turn your fill off you go to your little box here on fill take this little little where it says like this little not says it but the little picture of this red slash that says no color click on it and then throw on a stroke color which is going to be kind of difficult to pick the color up we'll just say like this color is like the uh twitter blue and we're going to put the stroke on maybe three uh let's see how much are we going to need it uh let's say let's just say like 5.5 there we go 5.5 we'll say 5.5 for now and then of course Control t to free transform it hold shift put on that 45 degree angle just like so we're gonna have one box for twitter one box for whatever the heck goes up there and then one box for instagram what did i put over there like put selfie okay so of course you have to change the different colors here you can use a color overlay if you want to but i basically used where is it selfie instagram and twitter there we go Drag these things in here really quick. Take my Twitter, put it in the middle of this one. Shrink it down a little bit. I'll change the colors in a second to match perfectly, but for now, put that in here as well. Try to keep the icons similar size. Instagram, put this one in here as well. Shrink that down. Now I'm just gonna use color overlay. And we're gonna make this, this color. And I'm gonna use color overlay for this next layer. I'm gonna make this for the Instagram, this color here. The blue is matching enough, but I'll just change it just for the fact that, you know, OCD. There we go. And then for the little thing here, I'm just going to put at Cisco HQ. Because it's kind of lucky if you guys don't have all of your social medias as your, like, for all of your websites or any, like, those things. It's going to be really hard for you to, like, have a really nice clean banner. So, for whatever reasons, if you're making, like, a new, uh, like, a new idea or something like that, just be, like, just... For the love of God, try to get all your same apps. You'll save yourself a big, big headache, especially if you get really popular. Uh, it just makes just makes everything like really easier in life. We're gonna call this. We're gonna say, check me out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Shrink this out a little bit, and I'll say that's pretty freaking good. There we go. So that's basically it not too hard whatsoever as you guys can see it's not it's nothing too crazy too difficult like i said the whole fracture thing is probably like the best like thing i would do personally if you guys are trying to mix it up a little bit or add more work but if you guys see in the future why my banner design looks like it is for youtube like whenever the heck i feel like doing it because you know designing for yourself is like impossible um yeah that's i'm gonna go with this kind of like nice little style here so uh 
Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Of course, two likes on the video equals a secret down below, which will mostly be the PSD of this video here today. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at SwitchQ. Do not forget to, uh, I don't know, comment down anything you want to see me do in the future. And uh, I think that's, is that pretty much it? It's like, yeah, check out my Selfie, Selfie.com slash SwitchQ for any premiums and packs. Packs as low as $5. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. So hey, I, I, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> I swear I'm not like I'm just tired, dude. I'm just tired, bro. All right, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I love you. <sighs> ASMR Sesso, dude. <laughs>